All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Caswell Customs. Vinny here. We got Brent behind the camera, and we're re-gearing the front diff. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen, I blew out the front diff. Well, I didn't blow out the front diff. I blew out an axle shaft over off-roading at Cody's in the snow. some weird leaking around this area so I figured well I gotta take it apart need to re-gear re the whole truck anyway so went ahead and pulled the trigger on a re-gear kit for the front and the rear so this video is gonna be us doing the front next one will be us doing the rear so we're gonna go ahead and pop this baby open and hopefully nothing's broken inside but we're gonna do our video. I got the front axle shaft off. Um, initial impression, nothing nothing on the gears or any of the teeth are badly worn, broken, or scarred right now. Oil, the all the oil. that explains that leak is this tore as soon as we pulled it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume it was already weak and that's probably where- I mean, how many miles does it have on it? Uh, we're like 175, 176, so it's With the up. last 30,000 being some abuse. Yeah, be honest. Hey, let's be, be honest. very honest. We have abused the crap out of this thing. So, does not surprise me. Um, you know, this probably needed to be gone through anyways. At least needed new fluid, if not this re-gear rebuild. So. I mean, how was the fluid when you drained it? So everything in here looks good. Um, we got a little black, but I mean, just, anytime you have yeah, metal like, on metal, you're really gonna. Just that, you know, it wasn't the greatest color, but there's no metal flake. There was, I didn't really see any sparkling, you know, check my flashlight, you know, nothing looked terrible. So it looked like it was in decent shape. So I have a feeling nothing's broken internally. We just probably had a leak in that gasket. So nothing too bad. And just to uh, just to point out, none of us really have any experience re-gearing. I tried on one of my old Jeeps. Um, just turned out to be too big of a job for me at the time, so I had to take it somewhere. But we're we're all going to be learning together, so yeah, exactly. we're going to find some tips and tricks that we learn, and we'll try to point them out to you guys. So we're on our way to Brent's to go pick up his press and then we're going to swing by Harbor Freight, get some um, pry bars, because I need some anyways, but we need them for this, and then uh, a puller. So we're going to head up to Brent's and Harbor Freight. Alright, so right now we're just in the process of pressing out all the other bearings. So there's the one in this, it also has one in there, um, and then there's two on that one. So this and this go on that, this one and this one go on the um, 
pinion. So not that, the pinion we have in the freezer right now, cooling down. This is the one that we're pressing out of Explain the sides the here. Um, so we put the pinion in the freezer because these um, have to go over it. So when you put it in the freezer, it shrinks it, makes it easier to put these on. So a lot of people who don't have a press will put their pinion in the freezer to make it really cold. And then they will heat these up, whether like on your stove top, some people put them in your oven. Boiling water. Uh, boiling water, anything to heat these up, make them expand so they slide on easier. Um, if you put them in your oven, I recommend not putting it in the oven you normally cook with because you're basically baking oil. Um, and it might make your food taste funny. So just a tip. All right, so we left you off last night with... Uh, I think the only thing we got off was the bearings on the um, pinion, the old pinion. So uh, now we're just getting all these bearings out. We got the one out of this side. We got the race out of the inside. Um, we got some of the race. We got one of the races out of the pinion, but uh, working on everything else. So just getting this all pulled apart and then. Uh, and start and get back together. And voila. We didn't get that entire seal out though. So, got the bearing out and the cap of the seal, but didn't get the whole seal out, so still gotta get this out of here. All right, so literally just took a pry bar and just got underneath there and pried that seal out. So all, okay, sorry, not all. I still gotta get that one last race out of there, but uh, went and got a little bit better punch. Where did I put you? Right here. Uh, it's just a little pry bar, but it's got a good tip at the end, so we're going to try and use this to punch that race out. It's been nothing but an adventure, but I'm determined to not take it to a shop. Because I've now talked to two people who said they tried it and then had to take it to a shop. One of them being Brent, so... Let's do this.
Okay, so we have the whole diff back together. Um, so I didn't show you the entire process. I showed you a good chunk of it, but uh, as you can see, all back together. We got new gaskets, and uh, the kits actually came with just um, gasket maker, you know, just uh, you know, silicone or whatever, but uh, all back together. So we went from 373 gears to 488. Um, so this is all back together. Now we just gotta get it back in the truck. Um, when we go and put it back in the truck, we're going to be doing new uh, hubs. Um, we got new axles, and then I also got to do my alignment plates for my upper control arm. So we're going to be doing all that in the same. Um, but now we've got to do the re gear on the rear. So we've still got that to come. So front diff is back together. Just got to get it back in the truck, do the rear. And then uh, when we do the rear, we'll be doing the dual brakes in the rear with the handbrake. So lots to come, but. Uh, Hope this was somewhat helpful for you if you are going to be doing this to your truck. If you have any questions about how to do this re-gear, leave them in the comment section down below. I am by no means an expert, but uh, I definitely learned a few things doing this. Uh, it was a great learning experience, so uh, I definitely enjoyed doing it. It was definitely difficult at times, but uh, I was able to figure out a lot, so super excited about that. But uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below. If you like the video, hit the like button. Um, all of the parts we use will be in the description. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, subscribe to see what's coming for the truck in the future. I'm Vinny with Caswell Customs, and I'll see you in the next one. You stole my heart of gold after my silver soul.